Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I am bringing you another battle in Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD. And uh, I've gotten a lot of really good Medieval Kingdoms content lately, so be prepared for a string of four or five videos of uh, Medieval Kingdoms. Then I'll kind of filter back into uh, the other Total War games. And I'm also going to start probably incorporating some other mods as well, even if it's just against the AI, just to kind of get a little bit of... Uh, uh, variety on my channel, but yes, this is Medieval Kingdoms 1212. I am playing uh, 1v1, uh, and I am playing as the Holy Roman Empire, as you can see here. I've got my general in the trees, very heavily plated, ready to go. We'll take a look at my army comp first, and then we'll take a look at the enemies. So I've got three units of this uh, Schnepp, it's a pike unit. And then I believe I have, yes, four units of these Ambrus Schwarze. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And then I've got uh, a couple of these uh, free company footmen. Actually, I think I have, how many do I have here? Uh, four of them. And then I've got two units of these uh, Erosher footmen. So they're more elite, more heavily armored. So they're pretty cool. But the money is in my cav. I brought a really, really uh, strong cav focused army so my cav as you can see i've got uh, three units on one flank and then three units on the other and if we zoom over just the cream of the crop for the holy roman empire it's my imperial ritter these guys are awesome i love the gold and black color scheme looks really really nice very very heavy shock calves so i'm hoping to be able to utilize them very well in today's battle so looking at the enemy force, he is playing as the French, and he doesn't have as much cav. He's got uh, two units of home d'arms on this side, and he's got two units of uh, coulettiers on the other side. So that's a melee cav. And then he's got his uh, general here, Jean, uh, Jean d'Arc, Joan of Arc, I should really say. But there she is right there. Very cool that she's leading the French in battle. And what else does he got? He's got a unit of gunners with gold chevron upgrades. So that's pretty crazy. Then he's got uh, four units, or how many sergeants does he have? Looks like two units of sergeants up here. He's got a couple of uh, dismounted chevaliers. He's got some valet, some spear units. He's got more on the flanks of them. And uh, some more dismounted chevaliers. And he's got uh, some archers as well, some... Cothrelli. That almost sounds Italian. But uh, more heavy infantry build uh, for for this player here. You can see the French spears ready for battle. So, yes, at this time, I think we are about to move forwards. I'm slowly creeping forwards, my men, as you can see. So we'll go ahead and put it on play. We don't want the battle to be too long. Now, it looked right away that he was interested in holding the trees, so he's going to take up more of a defensive position, and that just makes it that much more crucial that I need to win the cav battle, because for me to be charging right into the trees like that, with him having a lot more heavy infantry than I do, I'm definitely going to need the upper hand of some well-timed rear charges. But I'm not sure. Looks like the cav hasn't been activated yet. I will soon, though, because I noticed that these two units of uh, Quilitsi are kind of out of position. And I think, yeah, that at this time he actually discovered them. Which was a little bit annoying because I wasn't really ready to spring the trap. But here we go. Got my knights riding forwards. over the hill. They can't see their comrades in arms, but they believe that if they win the battle on their side, that the infantry will be able to save the day. But it's going to be hugely important that I win this cat fight. There we go. We got the first unit committing. He's going to try to get his uh, Colitier out of there, but I do catch one of the units. And I've got uh, my other unit of cav going wide on the other flank. Here we go. The charge has been sounded. 
gonna ride through the trees. The charge isn't gonna be as good because they're getting stuck by the trees, but. Well, I'm taking this unit to the other side here, so we're gonna break off there. Where's the other unit? Here we go. I wanted to get a nice charge for you guys. Let's jump up to the front here. Nice. Not the best charge, but you can see the other unit of Cav is flanking around on the other side. And they're going to be charging in as well. Nice. So if we turn on the HUD, uh, you can see that he's actually got a spear unit in here too. So well done by him. Uh, that was a smart play, but they are actually getting uh, attacked in the rear because I did a little bit of a rear charge on them. And I'm going to try and pull my Imperial Ritter out of there and get another well-timed charge. Yeah, here we go. Oh, he tried to pull them out in time, but it was just too late, unfortunately. But he's got another spear unit right behind that's going to be coming in. And, oh, we're going to miss the cab fight on the other side. Sorry, guys. Let's uh, zip over to there. So we've engaged on this side as well. Now, this was shock cavalry that I'm facing, but he actually didn't get a good charge off. So I was really happy to see that. I was able to get the charge, not him. And let's follow my general around. We're not missing anything in the infantry fight. It was mostly just the uh, cab battle first off. Oh, General, come on. That's not a good charge. Uh, that's a little better. At least getting into melee with them. So, how are we looking on the other side? So, yes, this was very, very worrying to me. Uh, he was effectively able to break all three units of my Ritter on this side, and I was very, very concerned. I already didn't have the balance of power in my favor to begin with, and now it's even more so out of my favor. So it's crucial that I win on this flank over here. But I've got the home arms pretty much surrounded, and uh, I think I'm going to be okay with that. But now on this side... I'm completely open for attack, which was a little bit concerning for me. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. Because I just lost three units of very expensive cav. And now he's he technically has the cav advantage at this point. Which was a little worrying for me. Can see all the cav riding with no one on the uh, horseback there. Let's go and take a look at how this uh, fight's doing. The home dams, they do put up a pretty good fight. I was quite impressed. Yeah, that's all my cab being slaughtered. It's all right. Like, look how well this home arms unit is holding. He's lost eight men here. And he's... I've lost a 12 on my uh, Imperial Ritter. Now, mind you, uh, they are high period, and my Ritter are early period, so... But yeah, you can see he's formed up his very foreboding cab force on the side. I have no other cab that I can use to kind of screen this off. So I'm really just going to have to rely on my infantry. <laughs> Which was a little worrying. I put them all in shield wall because I was worried he was going to charge me. Still working on it. I just don't want to miss it when he decides to move his cat. Oh, he's already doing it now. Sorry, guys. 
We're jumping all over the battlefield here. So yeah, you can see that he's moving out his cav. And uh, I've got all my men. I'm going to try to pull them back a little bit further. Because I don't want to lose these units of infantry. I'm going to need them for sure. Because I'm already quite outnumbered in the infantry department. And now I'm almost outnumbered in the uh, cab department as well. So I realize I'm not going to get these uh, soldiers out in time. So I'm just going to form them up into shield wall very quickly. Ooh, still a decent charge there. And he's got his general coming in as well. You can see I'm flanking around with another unit of swords. And I was very thankful. It looks like the general, uh, he was going to charge in. Uh, he was going to charge in t uh, to the backs of his own men, which would have curbed his uh, charge bonus. But uh, he actually was very effective in charging into this unit and uh, actually killing 40 men with that one charge. But I'm, I'm pulling forward all of my crossbows and my pikes uh, to kind of deal with this as best as I can. Oh, just destroying my unit. I'm focusing all my crossbows at this uh, general right now because I am desperate. And I've got my pikes moving forwards as well. That's my infantry breaking, unfortunately. And yeah, he's going to get his general out of there, which was really frustrating. But he's left these two units of cav in, which is good for me. And here we go. I'm pushing in the pikes to slaughter more of the cav. There we go. You can see a lot of them starting to die now. I've got another unit of uh, elite uh, infantry coming in behind. This unit that was breaking uh, did return from the battle. And I'm just going to try and tie them up as much as possible. And it worked. I was able to block them with these free company footmen and both of them broke. So that's really, really good for me. We've kind of evened the score at this point. I did lose quite a bit of infantry, as you can see. Enemy units have rallied it was a really effective charge, but I think I still came out on top on that one. And now he's pushed forwards his archers, so I'm just going to try and reposition my men. Over there, we are finally starting to break the home darms. Finally, finally, finally. And I'm just going to bring in this other unit of Cav just to completely surround this. Just add numbers to the fight. So I want them to break off the battlefield for sure. So there they are. They are both broken. So now I have four units of pretty healthy Cav. And he only has his general left. And this one unit over here that's returned from routing. But uh, I'm not really concerned much about that. And I'm repositioning all my men. He's really pushed his archers forwards extremely far. And he's actually uh, being smart by targeting my pikes. Looks like only a bit of the unit is in range, though, because only the front ones are firing. Yeah, he sees my cav coming, so he's going to try to run them away, which is a smart move. And uh, I realize I'm not going to get there in time, so I just uh, forget it. But I'm going to be pushing forwards my lines now. He's uh, snuck that uh, other unit into the trees. Actually, he's got uh, both of them came back from routing. So he's got two units of very depleted cav, uh, plus his general, which is at about half health. Joan of Arc is still alive as of right now. And my general is as well. You can see he's returning from the battlefield. Glorious emperor that he is. 
Let's see if we can see where he is. There he is in gold. Riding gloriously past his men, being like, we've defeated them. Fight on, my brothers. Fight on. I think the men are spurred on by the uh, recent victory that the Emperor is uh, telling. I don't think he's mentioning anything about the three units of Ritter that were slaughtered in the forest to the right. Uh, he's just going to say victory on the left. But Emperor, what happened on the right? Where are those men? Oh, cowards and traitors. They've, they've joined the French. Moving forwards, my archers now. You can see that he's got all his archers lined up in the trees here. Really, really nice shot there. Enemy approaching, sir. Trees looking really good. Should have brought a catapult. There they go, all firing. Ooh, that's going to be deadly for my men. I do have crossbows, though, so I'm hoping that uh, we'll just be able to kind of shred these archers. They are cheaper, but... See where this guy's firing. Oh, you can just hear the arrows coming in. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So this is a little bit of a skirmish phase at this point. Uh, but there's only about eight minutes left in the battle. And uh, I don't really like to cut too much out of my battles. If you guys, you know, tell me that it's super boring, then I can in future videos. But I like to kind of show strategy like sometimes uh, it pays to be patient and a lot of youtubers will just cut everything out of their videos so it's constant action but then the people that watch those youtube videos that's how they start to play they just need feel the need to constantly charge in more and more and more men but sometimes it pays just to be patient kind of think out your strategy and wait for the enemy to make a move but I've got two units of my Ritter I've got them in successfully behind enemy lines and uh, the player uh, told me he was actually unaware that I got these two units behind me. Or behind him, I should say. So that's really, really good for me. And you can see he's, uh, he's actually moved all of his cav onto this flank because I've got my general and one unit of Ritter. And that's why, that's another thing too. It's It's so good to really make a mental note of what troops your enemy has. Because if he had seen that I won the cav engagement on the other side, he, he would have known that I had four units of cav left. But I only have two on that one side, so where are the other two? But yeah, I'm just, I'm just targeting this one unit over here. I'm trying to cut them down one at a time. Waiting to fire. Go ahead and fire, peasants. They're doing a lot of damage to my crossbows, though. Lost 30 men there, 20 men there, 20 men there. This one's Enemy still full health. To the yeah, and I'm going to try to target uh, some of his sergeants. But here we go. I've decided to move forwards my pikes at this time. You can see I'm going to move them right to the front. I'm kind of interested to see if he uh, moves forwards to meet me or if he just stays where he is. And I've got my uh, free company footmen coming in behind. And I've got my really elite units on either flank. Spreading out my lines too. He 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 spread himself really really thin. He's got one massive line of infantry all the way here. He's kind of got like this little uh, almost L shape, 
And he's saving his uh, elite gunners back in the trees here. Hoping to get a ton of kills with them. But yeah, I'm actually uh, moving forwards my archers. Kind of screening my uh, pikes. And it actually did work because he did target uh, my archers instead of my pikes, which is what I wanted. But I barely got enough infantry to stretch over here. Let's uh, zoom into the pikes as they move forwards. I don't know what it is, but I love watching just infantry march slowly. It's so epic. You can see forwards uh, there that the pikes have already engaged with the infantry on that flank. I want that battle. To me, man. To and me. on the other side as well. Sorry, guys. I definitely uh, get into the uh, cinematic mode a little bit too soon. I just get overexcited. But here we go. The main melee fight has already begun. This will be the telltale sign here. How we looking everywhere else? Yeah, moving forwards, my infantry over here. I'm bringing my cav out a little wider. And I've got my crossbows uh, coming up to try to target these spears. If he's just gonna sit there, that's all right with me. But look at that, look at his, look at his infantry. I guess it was just a, the cheaper sergeants of the early period. And they just got wrecked by the pikes. Just wrecked. And here we go. Nice charge by the Ritter. I almost missed it. But just wiping out these two units over here. I was really, really happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is to quickly get into melee against these gunners. Now they are gold chevron upgraded. So that's going to be really, really hard for me to crack. But I just want to get them in melee so that they can't fire anymore. But yeah, look at that. Uh, balance of power is swung into my favor. I've got two units of uh, my infantry free that are just going to come around the flank. The dismounted Chevalier, they're having a tough time over here. And here comes some of my infantry units to flank around. Just kind of buckling this side. Look at that. They break almost instantly. And the general is dead. Joan of Arc was slain. Against my general, actually. And that's just pretty much going to collapse the line. And there we go. I think I think that the uh, bodyguard is broken. Yes, it has. And I've kind of just made this makeshift line here with the pikes. Oh yeah, just a ton of their men just breaking so quickly. This infantry unit is holding out, though. Even with the pikes behind them. But I haven't exactly pushed the pikes in yet. Enemy. 
Very nice there. Just zipping over to the other side of the battlefield, you can see that some of my pikes are free from battle. From the enemy. That's it. And we pretty much just cleaned up on this flank. The battle is turning in our favor. And really the last infantry unit that is holding out surprisingly is the gunners. So we're just going to end up here. Oh no, the battle's over. Sorry guys. But uh, yeah, close victory and uh, really epic victory as well. Um, now, the player that played against me, uh, we can end the replay. The player that played against me, he was very, very new. I think he had just bought Attila and downloaded the mod, uh, like, within a week. Um, so I, uh, here's his name, Scruff McGruff. Uh, thanks very much, man. I really appreciate it. He, he was still willing to do a 1v1 with me, uh, even though he knew uh, that I had a lot of practice. And he actually did quite well. Uh, to be honest, I really think that he would have won the battle if he didn't charge in his cav... Um, when he won on the right flank. If he had saved his cav instead of charging it into my infantry, uh, he would have had a lot more cav to deal with my cav. And I think that was his downfall. But you could tell Joan of Arc getting 135 kills. A lot of his infantry really suffering, but it's just because they were cheaper than mine, I think. Because uh, look at these pikes. I think these are uh, either the cheapest or the middle tier pikes. But yeah, uh, uh, almost 250 kills for each one. And then my free company footmen, really cost-effective. I think these guys are uh, 650 each. Uh, and then my crossbow's doing okay. Uh, the cab that survived did well, but these three units just got wrecked. Uh, so thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this battle. Uh, be sure to let me know if you would rather have me cut out the boring parts and go straight uh, into the action. That's, that's fine. Uh, I can definitely do that. Uh... But I don't know. I kind of just like to have the whole battle. Uh, but just let me know because you guys are the ones that are watching it. And uh, I appreciate all your continued support, guys. The uh, channel is growing really fast lately. Uh, 133, I think, last time I checked. Uh, and we just hit the 100 milestone subscriber battle, I think, like two weeks ago or something. So really, really awesome to see that you guys are enjoying my work. So um, until next time, see you later.